Anyway, Jim, your thoughts tonight? No, I'm just pleased. I'm pleased, especially with the first half. I thought, thought we were excellent. We, uh, we kind of I just started off where we, we finished on Saturday. And uh, I don't think 3 nothing flattered as a half time. And then come out the second half, we can score straight away and you know, you think, oh here we go, it could be a long second half. But I thought I thought after five or ten minutes we settled back into the game again and we had good possession. And uh, we made some decent chances but couldn't we, you know, couldn't we get another goal but we conceded one chance, we had about five minutes to go with Rory Curry said that Josh had a good save, but apart from that, I thought we, were, you know, we controlled the game quite well. And you could see both teams were, I think, really tired. I mean, Breakins had three games and two of them against full-time teams and then coming up here. So it's, it takes its tone, part-time players. And, uh, but all in all, I'm, I'm just delighted because I, I don't think we won two games in the bounce hall the last season. So... I think we did there later on. Did we? I might not play game after here. You won't out after that. Well, anyway, it's a good start. And for a group that we didn't seem to have an earthly in, if we can get one more result somewhere, then we might have a chance, which, which is, again, I said on Saturday, it's important with the finances, you know, because there's a good money in this cup. I thought your your passing tonight and your movement off the ball was was really excellent. You must be delighted about that. Ah, yeah, I think. You know, when you look at, especially young, the, the younger, the weird boys come I mean, Derm Kesson's not particularly young, the boy that came on at the end, but they're good to watch. And it's just having been brave enough to put them on the park at times. And uh, But I thought, you know, I thought the first half, I thought some of our stuff, some of our play was really, really good, the way we, we passed and moved. And, and uh, you know, so so it's been good, it's been a good start. But we got here on Saturday and we know that winning for a, a tough time down there, you know, which every game's tough in, in football, you know, but it's been a good start, so, you know, we didn't quite know what was what was going to happen to us this season, we still probably don't know, but, you know, at least you've got a bit of hope when you see, you know, we've got players last, for last season, like Stephen Boyd, Andy McCarthy, that they're just like new players to us, and once we get big Gary McKenzie fitter, I mean, that's an hour he's played tonight, but you can see, you know, how imposing big Gary is. So, uh, so it's, it's good. How do you sort of sum up what it would mean to, to get out of the group if you could? I think it would be a hell of an achievement because, you know, when, when you look at the group and you see St Johnson and Dundee United, maybe it gives you a chance, you know what I mean? So, so uh, you know, you've got to look at it for that aspect. It would be, listen, we're still a long way for doing that, but at least we've got a chance. And big guys are getting off, off the map. Ah, it was good for him, I know, I know, I know. That was good. So, how would you sort of... Some of Isaac's performance because there's a bit no, of everything was, again. I was delighted with them on the first half. I thought it was they were just a joy to watch. And I didn't think honestly I thought if it was five or six it would have been a fair reflection in the half because we missed some good chances. But you know, to see uh Isaac score a goal like that and then Boyd score a goal like that, it's just it's, it's just a pity there was nobody here to see them. <laughs> uh, what can you say about Ben and see? He just tightened his hammy and it. it wasn't the hammy that he had problems with last year, it was his other hammy. So, uh, but as you can see with Ben, he's bulked up a lot. Ah, so he just needs to make sure he's got the balance right between, you know, the weights that he does and, and, uh, and the running that he does, you know. Mm-hmm. So is it just a tweak or is it... Ah, no, I don't think he's done any... Oh, any you know, great damage to it. But it's good to see the young boys in the two. Well, no young boys, because Derm's not particularly young, but he's a joy to watch with Derm. And uh, I'm sure he'll have an impact in, in uh, games this season. I'm sure people enjoy watching them. We can get people in to see him. Ah, that was just a sort of wee glimpse in that, was it, Jimmy? Ah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've told you about him in training. He's, <laughs> the boy's it's incredible what he does at training, you know. So, uh, and we, we are always the same. We've still got Josh to come back in, Josh Mulligan, big strong boy. Uh, so it's good. Just last week, we'll say Big Gary. So. Big Gary, you can see he's, Big Gary's not just a good defender. Big Gary can play a bit of football now. So, you know, once we get him, he's get, he gets a wee bit of pain off his foot. You know, he's maybe needing a wee injection in his foot because he gets a wee bit of, a wee bit of pain on it. But he's nice, nah, he's, he's okay. Top stuff, thank you very much. Yeah.